guys, I hope you're having a lovely day. So this is the tutorial for the Darcy Bra Style One. I'm breaking the tutorials down into several videos just to make it easier to find the bit that you might be specifically looking for. So make sure you've got all the pattern pieces cut out before we start. So you need two of everything, the back, the side front and the centre front. So you need two in your main fabric and I'm using a cotton jersey and two in your lining fabric and I'm using a stretch mesh. So we're going to start at the centre front and work out. So take your two main fabric centre front pattern pieces and place them right sides together. And just match your centre front seam like that. And because obviously they are a mirror image of each other, you just want to make sure it's nice and matched all the way around. Then take your two lining pattern pieces and then right sides together if your fabric has a right side. Make sure they're right sides together, matching the centre front seam as well. And then just place them all in a pile. So you've basically got your two lining pattern pieces right sides together and then underneath your two main fabric centre front pattern pieces right sides together, sort of underneath. So you pin all this in place. So I'm going to sew this seam now with a one centimetre seam allowance. It's one centimetre because I just find this makes it much easier to grade the seam allowance when we're done sewing it, which I think is really important when you've got four layers of fabric coming into one seam here, especially over the bust seam. You don't want it too bulky and having it as a one centimetre seam allowance just makes it much easier to grade. So you're going to sew the seam with the straight stitch, which is perfectly fine for all your vertical seams on your bra. Don't forget to take your pins out. You don't want any holy fabric. to grade the centre front seam allowance. This just means I'm going to cut these layers to different lengths and it just reduces the bulk at the seam. So I'm going to cut the lining layers the shortest and slightly longer your second layer of fabric and then just trim back slightly the last layer of fabric. So now if you open out all your pattern pieces you should have your main and lining wrong sides together and all your seams will be trapped inside the seam. So it's just there. So this is why it's important to grade your seam allowance because they do end up on one side of the seam so you don't want that too bulky. And there you go, that's what we look like at this point. Next we're going to sew our first side front pattern piece to the centre front. If you do want to simplify this step you can base these two layers together. We're going to treat them as one from now on. So that's the centre front main and lining. There is one centimetre seam allowance again at the bust seam. Uh, that's three eighths of an inch. So you can just sew a little row of stitches along the bust seam quite close to the edge if you think that would make things simpler. But I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. So I'm going to place the side front right side to the right side of the centre front just sort of roughly like that and then I'm going to flip the work over so we're working now on the lining take the lining and if your lining has a right side place the right side to the right side of the centre front lining and then I'm going to pin all these layers together there is notches on the pattern so you do use those just to make sure that it's all nicely sewn, pinned and sewn nicely. So I'm going to put a pin at the bottom of the seam and at the top of the seam. Get all the layers. This is a little bit fiddly. So basting the centre front bust seam main and lining together might be helpful. So all the layers And then just make sure 
all the layers are sitting level. So I've got my pins in place and now I'm going to sew the seam with a one centimetre or three eighths of an inch seam allowance, just the same as I did for the front. Again, I'm going to grade the seam allowance just as I did with the centre front. I'm cutting the stretch mesh lining the shortest. Then the next fabric layer will be slightly longer. And the bottom fabric layer will be the longest of all the layers. So as well as grading the seam allowance, I'm just going to notch the seam allowance. I'm just going to put three notches in. It is a curved seam, so we don't want it to sit funny under the seam. So I've graded my seam allowance. I've also just cut in three little notches into the curved part of the seam. So that when we turn it through, it should look something like this. So now I'm at this point, I am going to press my seams. I'm going to press the centre front seam as it is and the bust seam. Because this is a curved seam, you might want to use a tailor's ham. If not, you can put the curved seam around the edge of your ironing board and just gently press around there. So I'm going to do that. Pressing down and on to the next step. So now I'm going to sew my back pattern piece to the side front pattern piece. Basically the same principle as before. If you do want to baste your side seam together here, um, your side front main to the lining, that might simplify things. So you can do that if you want to. So take your back main pattern piece, right side to right side and place it to the right side of the center, no, side front pattern piece. Flip it all over like this and then place your lining fabric right side. Again, if it has a right side, make sure the right side is the right side of the lining on the side cup. <laughs> there we go. Pin all this in place. Make sure your seams are nice and level. They all kind of end at the same point. We want to keep this as neat as possible. So pin at the top and bottom of the seam and then one in the middle I think will be enough. So there we go, just making sure all the layers finish at pretty much the same point. Just pop another pin in there. Then again I'm going to sew the seam with a one centimeter or three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Again, I'm just going to grade this seam allowance as before. So my two lining la layers are going to be the shortest, cutting them the same just because they're very light layers. So cutting them the same length isn't going to make a big difference. And then the second layer or third layer slightly longer. And the final layer the longest of them all. There we go. So now if I open out these pattern pieces here, place them wrong sides together, we should have what's starting to look like half a bra. There we go. Now it's just a case of mirroring what I've done on this side to this side.
the pattern pieces are now assembled, all the seams are hidden on the inside, so it should be looking very neat and tidy. The reason my bras are sewn like this is just to keep the lining in its place. Obviously they're fixed in every seam and it just holds everything in the right position. However, if you don't like sewing it this method or maybe you don't like the bulky seams and you wanna open them out flat, what you can do, you can just sew the entire lining piece together as one and then the main fabric all together as one. You just place them right sides together and sew each seam right sides together of the lining and sew each seam and then place them wrong sides together and you'll end up with this overall silhouette. So that's really, that's really up to you. But this is the way the pattern instructions are. If you are making this bra for the first time, I would recommend test fitting it at this point, either on yourself or whoever you're making it for. And if you do need to take any extra length out of the band, just make sure you take it off evenly off each center back seam. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to apply all your elastics. If you are watching the playlist for the style you are making, then stay tuned, it will be coming up next. I'll see you there.